make of it? So within the last half an hour or so, I've actually landed home from my little night away. It's quite cool actually. We played some weird nighttime golf thing, went out for some food and just spent the evening in the hotel without any responsibility of children. Sounds bad, but sometimes you just need to have zero responsibility. Although we did hear kids running up and down the hallway all night, but we didn't care because if they tripped and fell, not our problem. But it is back to reality. I did actually buy a fucking prime on the way home. The kids are outside cleaning the mum's car. Brilliant. So I've got some sales that I need to go through and um, that's what we're here for today. So I've decided that when I do my prices, I'm just going to tell you what the whole total is. So postage or not, it's irrelevant. This is everything that I got. You can just minus the fees and stuff. It's about the same, 12, 13%, isn't it? So for 30 pounds and 98 pence all in is this Nolan helmet. It is the Nolan Officer Bay series. I mean, it's barely been used, but it's from 1994, I think, or 1990, 1992. I'll see if I can remember to put a screenshot up here. I did realize that on the last video, I forgot to do my overlays. So uh, that happened, Never mind. 30 pounds and 98 pence all in. I got this for about two pounds from Ricky. He was being um, charitable again. This next one is a weird one. They've paid four to two pounds, something all in. They've paid more than that because it's gone GSP. It's the Magic Mix bundle, but she only wants the smoothie mix and something else. I can't quite work it out. I think I might just send it all, I don't care. She doesn't want the dough bowl, doesn't want the mash mix, but she wants the puree and the smoothie, but the mash and puree kit kind of come together. So even focusing. So uh, I don't really know what to do. I might just send it all. I might just send it all. It's going to America. Save confusion. I think the mash bowl I can get about 12 quid for. I meant the dough bowl kit, I mean. So I might double check. One of her messages say, I'm interested in the dough kit and the puree, not the mash or something. And then the other one says something opposite. So whichever one repeats itself in there that she doesn't want, I might keep that. I'm not too sure. But yeah, a £42 something all in. Because I accepted her £35 offer on it being less of the order than she wanted, but I might just send it all. I don't know. <laughs> £135.99 for a set of these lawn bowls now. Let me change this a little bit. That's better. £135.99. So I had them listed for 160 or 180 I can't quite remember. Sent me an offer of 130 and obviously I took it. It was 189.99 listed them for. They are the size one, size one H. So the smaller, when it comes to bowls, the smaller the size, the better. And you'll find your size here. Now the reason why smaller the size, the better is because they fit in your hand better. Most people have smaller hands compared to the size fours and the size fives. They're just a more sought after size. So yeah, I had these listed for 189.99 plus 5.99 postage. And I took an offer of £130 plus the £5.99 postage. These owe me, so it's £8 a set. I offer £20 for three sets. 20 divided by three, about £6 something a pair. £130, we'll take it, son. £12 all in is this Seagate hard drive. Now, this came from a Panasonic DVD hard drive machine thing. And it got returned because they was having trouble with the DVD loading. And when I got it back, it's right, it was having trouble loading it, but when I sent it out, it wasn't. So it's one of those things that's hard to prove. I think it only sold for about £18 anyway. It wasn't an expensive one. So when I got it back, I thought, I'll just take the hard drive out and make some money off that instead and claw some money back that way. And I did, £12. These are so, so easy to take out. I open up the machine. Normally there's two screws on the side, sometimes four on the side. So let's say this is a DVD machine. It's facing this way. There's a DVD drawer, all right? You're with me? There's normally one screw here, one screw here, one screw here, one screw here, and maybe one, two, three, four across the back. So easy, just pop that off and you'll see the hard drive. There'll be a bracket, take the bracket off, then find the four or five screws that hold it in, take them out, and there you go. Make sure you pull the pins out nice and safely. It's just a little pull tab. And then you'll have the hard drive to recoup some of the money from. £45.99 now is this Canon Ixus digital camera coming from that bundle that I picked up not too long ago when I was selling at the car boot sales. Not much more to say about that really. All the cameras that I've been selling have no leads, no chargers, nothing. This is a rare one that has a memory card that I've added to the bundle. So £45.99. Boots blood pressure monitor with a Omron arm pump thing sleeve. 
uh, just for taking blood pressure monitors, checking out your blood pressure. I'm too scared to use it. I probably should, but I won't. Everybody's seen these before, but the Boots ones don't tend to command as much, but they still sell quite quickly as well. £12.89, I think they sold for. Tommy Tippy Light Up Nighttime Snoozy Panda thing. £16.99. Another one that I was going to take off my eBay store, but has just stayed on there because during the move, sometimes you forget a few things. I've got a few things planned for a few different items, and this was one of them, but never mind. It's sold. £16.99. Couple of vintage sales now. Mickey Mouse comb, Disneyland Paris. Sold for two pounds, all in. Couple from the Tom's Tat Whatnot bundle now. These were delivered yesterday, listed yesterday, and sold yesterday within a couple of hours. Six pounds, all in, for the Wii Sports. No fees, no nothing. And Diablo for the PS1, listed for 60, sold it for 55 pound, all in, no fees, no nothing. Now, a lot of you will be screaming at me like, why are you selling things so cheap? You know I'm an advocate for fast selling. And in order for things to be fast selling, you have to be competitive. My well, group chat was sending me screenshots of £90 sales of that. I don't give a shit. There's only one listed for £64.99 at the time, and that hasn't even sold yet. So yeah, the ones have been selling for 90 but how long do they sit around for? Do you know what I mean? Same with the Wii Sports. They were listed and sold in the same day, and I profited. I spent £30 on a Lucky Dip ticket thing on Tom's Whatnot stream. I've got a video somewhere. Let me see if I can find that for you. Uh, we'll go for Ricky. Last star pulled right to the end of the night. Ricky has won. Diablo on the PS1. £80 PS1 game. Well done, mate. Complete with manual. Real nice condition. £80 game there. Going to Ricky Resells. For thirty pound, and he got a Wii Sports in there as well. So Lucky Dip streams is basically there's like hundred and fifty cards or whatever it is. You pick X amount. I basically got a deal where I spent thirty pound. I get to pick six, six, pick five cards, C five. So I don't know what it's called, but basically amongst that hundred and fifty, there's a star, and each star has a top prize. And one of the top prizes was Diablo. Right at the end of the stream, I thought, fuck it, let's have a go. I had a go, and I won. I hit it. I've done it. So, £30, £34 plus postage. I've done £61 back in 10 minutes as soon as it all arrived. I've still got another £12 worth of stuff listed. I sold it quick. Moved it fast. Money back in. Cash flow back into the business, ready for me to reinvest when the sunshine decides to stay out for more than 20 minutes in the morning and get a car boots to hell in. You know what I mean? And a private sale now. Well, I say private. It's on Instagram. So, yeah, it is a private sale. Umbro track jacket. I had this listed with the track jacket and the pants for a tenner on Vinted. And my man Pete over at Utopia Retro said, I want the jacket, bro. Will you be happy to do just the jacket for £10 plus post? I said, bro, just let me send you the whole lot. He said, no, nah, I can't be bothered with the trousers. He doesn't deal with clothing. And I understand. That's fair enough. He said, are you happy with that? I said, I'm happy with that if you're happy with that. Are you happy with that? The most British polite off ever. So Pete's took the jacket. Really appreciate the purchase, mate. Go and give him a follow. The dude has some of the coolest stuff. I'm going to remember to put the overlays on this time. Pete, once again, thank you, my man. And regards to sales, I think that's it. So I need to get that packed up. PS1 game, everybody gets a bit shifty about packaging these up. Just give it tons of bubble wrap. I've actually put some bubble wrap on the inside as well to stop the stuff rattling around just get a good fold on one side and a good fold on another and then just wrap it in card and try and stick it in a box if you've got one i know the jewel cases are a little bit shifty you really can just what's that cracking in there is that the case or the bubbles bubbles much in the do this round here as well that one on that side. Take that up. So that golf game was actually really fucking good yesterday, man. It was a lot of fun. More fun than I thought it was going to be. I feel really bad for Emma because I have like a block where I don't find much joy in the stuff the same way most people do. I know it's to do with my brain. But it doesn't mean that I'm miserable either. I'm just always in this neutral state which can be a hard for people who's you know spending time with you and stuff but i think she understands now enough but i did enjoy myself and i try i try 
I tried to let it show. Just realised something about these bags. They're wide, but they're not very long, look. Still love it, baby. If you want a wireless printer and you don't mind spending a couple of hundred quid on a setup, Munbin's the one. Link is in the description down below. Again, this is not a sponsored video, this one. Do you know what? I'm going to come back to you once all of this is packed up. Sounds like Ada's in there getting a bollock in from her mother. <laughs> By the way, while I'm doing this, while it's on my mind, I've got two little bundles to give away. So each bundle contains a pair of IKEA shoe trees, some other kind of shoe trees. They're all pre-owned and a retractable ruler. Good for measuring when you're doing like pit to pit or length on clothing. I've got two of these little bundles here. So here's the first one and here's the second one, both consistent, both pre-owned. I am going to, I'm just clearing out my stuff basically, stuff that I don't use, tools that I've acquired over time. So we're gonna be doing a giveaway. One of each to go. So all you've gotta do is comment down below, your videos make me, and then you can finish the sentence. And I'll use that as the keyword generator, which you would have seen in one of my previous videos to pick the winner. The last one was drawn and actually contacted me. So we've sorted that out now. Sticker will be on the way to him. So your videos make me, and the rest is up to you. Happy, sad, annoyed, angry. What is that fluffing floating around? Goats, goats, ghost, bat. <laughs> Your videos make me sad, happy, angry, upset, annoyed, um, inspired, whatever the words are, write it down below and I'll pick a winner shortly. Right, that is <clears throat> all of the postage done. I decided to send her everything with the Magi Mix. I couldn't be bothered. It wasn't worth it. I, the message was just too confusing. But I think I'm going to leave it there now. I'm going to get these parcels dashed off and on the way. Bonus credit. Thank you. I thought we'd slip some bonus footage in here while I'm dropping off the parcels. It's probably worth a pick up. Still there, of course they are. Pretty sure that's a pickup, but I can't be lost. Let me have a look at this. I don't think there's too much in it, but I think I'm going to anyway. Put it with the AB radio. That sells of nine pounds and thirty nine ninety nine. Probably gonna leave that. Hotel Chocolat. No. I think we'll grab that. Mm. No, that's an old sat nav. CD not working. What speakers are they? Let's have a look what's joining these ranks today. What does the Red Cross mean today? Um, the half price. Half price, okay. Um, half price. I knew that'd end up there. These are worth it. Three packs of these. One twenty-five, so three seventy-five. Doesn't matter. Unless I can an Aldi. Check out the crockery. That's not sadly a bit too much. Made in Poland. Can't quite work that out.
Hello. 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 You alright? Yes, thank you. You got any men's on there today? There's a little bit yesterday that we had on there for men's. Was that Gant Fried or something? Yeah, I think so. Nothing too major in there, but we managed to average the price down and get a couple of things. This was £2.25, sells for £8 to £12 pre-owned and also £8 to £15 new, so who fucking knows? But if I get a tenner back on that, after fees and postage, I'll make a fiver, which means this radio, then owes me nothing from the day, from the deal, from the pickups. No idea what it's going to be worth, but £5 for a touchscreen pocket radio. Come on, it's got to be worth at least 15 isn't it? Has to be. And then these things here, I'm going to bundle them up for hopefully £12 for the lot. They're £1.25 each, so £3.75. There you go, just a quick bit of bonus footage for you. I'll slip that in somewhere. Dropped off the parcels. I always pick up a vegetable samosa and a mogu mogu. Literally the best drink in the world. Nice chunky bits in it. But he, while I was outside, he was burning an incense stick, the sandalwood one, and I was like, it's really nice. And I left and he banged on the window and said, bus, gave me a, gave me a chunk oh, for the home. He said, he was telling me sandalwood is now over a hundred pound a kilo. Oh, bang it, mate, gonna slap that on tonight. I do it when Emma's in bed. I'm not sure she's a fan of incense, but I am, grew up with it. Mum's a hippie. Don't forget to comment down below. I forgot what I said now. Watching your videos makes me feel like, or something like that, wasn't it? Make sure you use the right one. I will see it in the edit, because that's how I choose the winner. I massively appreciate it as always. If you wouldn't mind liking the video on the way out, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Come on. I'll catch you in a bit. Love you all. Goodbye.